everything's welded up. Let's throw some wheels on there, see what this thing looks like. I even like the caps on there. Yep. Alright, well, <clears throat> it's been a few weeks since you uh, saw me working on the video of the uh, rat wagon last time. So, I got everything on the chassis pretty much done. <clears throat> However, I was at a standstill because I was having trouble finding one of my last parts. Now, this is a different domicile. I've actually moved twice since I originally started this project because I was staying with a friend. So the last bit of video that you saw was in my friend's garage who I was temporarily staying with. So anyway, I got the chassis done and then I was trying to get finished up with the wagon, put on the last few parts and I could not find the Holly carburetor that I wanted to put on it. So I was going back and forth over to storage where all my stuff was and I could not find it. I was digging and digging and digging. And of course, so a couple weeks went by and then my wife finally comes over and we're going through the storage unit and she picks up this box, which is Echo Quick Edging. And she's like, is this really what's in this box? And she hands it to me and I look on top. Oh, look, Holly Carburetor. And I literally screamed like a little girl. So because there it is right there, the carburetor that is going to go on the front of a buddy's rat wagon. So, and some of the other parts I was going to put on it. <laughs> so, somehow I forgot that I put it in there. And anyway, this is the finishing touch. So, I'm going to take a piece of this uh, little thin uh, plate right here <clears throat> and put it underneath the front so I can mount the carburetor. So, basically, it will sit on the front like this. And then with my little makeshift air cleaner, goes on top like that. So it'll be pretty cool on the front of the wagon now that I have all the parts. Yay! So anyway, um, so the next video I'll shoot will be uh, mounting that and getting that ready to go. So I'm sorry I will post this video eventually after I give my buddy the wagon because I don't know if he watches my videos or not. So I don't want the reveal via the YouTube when it's going to be something even cooler. So anyway, that's where I'm at so I can get back to work, finally! Well, carburetor is mounted. Um, what I ended up doing was welding a plate to the front of the chassis and then just drilling a couple holes, mounting holes, one there, one there for the carburetor itself. Air cleaner uh, has been basically attached. Um, I put a Firing or part of a uh, shotgun shell on the front there to cover up the hole. Uh, a couple bullets on the front of the frame just for extra pieces. Just to kind of dress it up. The individual I'm giving it to is a uh, retired army, so I figured he'd get a kick out of that. 
But anyway, that's pretty much it. So I got the tub is sanded. So uh, I think it's ready to go on. Final bolt together. Um, welds look pretty good, so I think it's pretty much ready to go. Oh, I ended up reattaching the hubcaps. Uh, I think I like the hubcaps on there, so I'm going to try and sand those down a little bit just to clean them up. Where it's really gritty on the ends. But other than that, I think she's about done. Well, okay, got her back together. So, did a little sanding on those hubcaps. They're just aluminum, so I got them polished up a little bit so they match better. Um, the tub, I ended up wiping down with a little WD 40 just to kind of get some of the corrosion preventative something on there. Um, and it also wiped down the whole tub, so it kind of brightened up the letters a little bit. Brings it back to life. And it kind of overall makes a little bit of a darker shade. It doesn't have that light rust color, so looks a little bit better as far as the patina is concerned. Um, so it pulls really nice. Let's see. Steer it back and forth. And what I found is the more weight you put in it, the better it pulls. So, uh, this is my hardware box. It's about 40 pounds. So, fits in there nicely. And pulls really good with that in there. So, push it back. But that's probably not exactly what he's going to put in it because along with the wagon he's also getting the Budweiser cooler so that goes in there sits right over the rear axle should be good unfortunately the wet the cooler does not match the patina but whatever still fits so, anyway, there we go. Hot rod wagon complete. And good for car shows, swap meets, things of that nature. So, anyway, well, I guess that's it. I'm going to call that video done. Thanks for watching. Hope you all liked it.